Okay, this is the teeny tiny little puppy. Hi, baby. Oh. So I want you guys to see. It's hard. He won't hold still. He is a guinea pig is bigger than he is. He was born July 28th. So far, he's healthy. He's doing good. I had some scares with him a little bit just because of his size. At eight weeks of age, he was only eight ounces. There was a, a time in the beginning where his eyelashes were touching his eyeballs and I was very alarmed and I had to bring him to an eye specialist and she thought that maybe at some point in the future he might have to have surgery to correct it. Well, since then, he's grown in and uh, grown up a little bit there and his eyeballs are now completely normal and his eyelashes, his eyelids are completely normal and you see his eyelashes. So, no more surgery, everything was normal. He was just too small. So, that's all good. No heart murmur, no defects, there's just nothing wrong. And there was a point where I was taking him to the vet every single week to get him weighed. Now the vet says he's so good that he thinks he'll be just fine. He's just going to be tiny. I may take him to see um, a specialist for either an ultrasound or an MRI. I just want to take a look at all the organs and just make sure. Because when they're this teeny like that, you just, what if there's an underlying problem? I want to make sure. Now, luckily, there's been nothing oh, other than the eyelashes. And he did have one episode of hypoglycemia, but because I was right here, I acted fast and was able to prevent it. I saw that he was getting real, real tired, and, and I went and checked his gums, and I saw they were pale. So I was right away, I you know, acted fast with the Nutri-Cal, and I started syringe feeding him, and right away, then his gums turned pink. So no problem occurred. If you don't watch these puppies, especially the tiny ones, and you don't see they're eating, and you see that they're not playing, and they're just laying there, check their gums. Make sure they're pink and moist. If they are white or gray and dry and kind of like a tacky feel to them, that is uh, low blood sugar, and you do need to act fast. I recommend little puppies getting Nutri-Cal every day. You know, if they're this teeny, I mean, he gets it three times a day. But you can give your puppy three times a day, twice a day, once a day. It just depends until they have enough fat reserves where they can store the sugar. He doesn't have any. He's just so tiny. Now, his size hasn't increased, but his weight has doubled, which is so promising. He's very playful. He's very affectionate. I mean, everything is completely normal other than his size. He's just super tiny, and that just might be him. He might just be a two pound puppy, and he may never get bigger than the length of my hand. That might just be him. This toy is meant for tiny puppies, and it's bigger than he is. But he's so cute, and he's so playful.
is so kisses. I know. I know. It's funny, he's so tiny, but he's got lots of fur. Like a big poof of fur. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's so cute. He's all white except for this little coloring on his one ear. That's okay. Makes him more cute. I love that I found a teeny tiny teddy bear. It's so cute. He loves his bed. And the thing is with him, as small as he is, he's the smartest puppy I've ever had. He always goes on the pee pad. He has never had an accident. He knows to sleep in his bed every single night. And he's just, that's the only place he goes to the bathroom is the pee pad. If I am holding him, he will let me know he has to get down to use the bathroom. He will not go on me, the furniture, his bed, nowhere except the pee pad. Now, I do line his area with pee pads, but he has one spot that he will go here, and that's it. He won't go anywhere else but his one spot. So I try to keep the toys away from it. He is so smart. He knows when I'm coming in the kitchen and he'll bark for me to come pick him up. And he knows when it's when I go to give him his little Nutri-Cal. He's so cute with it. And he laps it up right away. These are babies. I, I gotta be honest, it's, it's gonna be a tough one. It'll, once I get the green light on everything and he has they had a thorough check, I'll make a, a decision on placing him in the right home, but it's gonna be a very special home. But everyone's falling in love with him at my vet clinic. Everyone. And it might be tough to let him go. So, But right now he's still not available. Just because, like I said, I, I when it comes to my dogs and my puppies, I need to know. I really want to be very careful. He is way too small and too fragile at this time. If and when he is available, though, of course, I will announce it. There are several people that have been interested from the beginning, uh, and I'll have to make that determination. I'm not even going to consider it right now. I don't want anyone to get their hopes up. I just, I have to wait. So, I, I you know, people are keeping in touch, and, and that's wonderful. Thank you. But uh, right now, I'm just going to, with when it comes to the puppies, with him in particular, it's going to be all about his safety and his health. I wouldn't even, when it comes to playing with the other dogs, he's the only one I, I really, when I let him out to play, it's very guarded. It's with me on the floor right there. I don't just let him play and run with the other dogs. I have to be there. It's like he's, to me, he's like a little infant. Uh, just, just too delicate. I would be so afraid one of the dogs just running by and, and accidentally knocking him over and, and jumping on him. He's just too fragile. But he's a sweetheart. He amazes me every day, and every day I just fall more and more in love. Just, just a gentle little soul. But I thank everybody for all the prayers because he's been nothing but healthy. Every time I've been scared, turns around, he's fine. I just, I always say, tiny but mighty. Say bye bye's. Say bye bye's. Say I love to play. Bye bye's. Bye bye's. Bye bye's.